All right, here we go. Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Today is not a normal filming day for me. Um, but I'm actually not really having like a bad day. I'm kind of having like a bad week, which is just like the story of my life lately. I have opened up here and there about my anxiety and kind of like um, a panic disorder that I have and just the tendency to get very uh, sensitive and stressed out easily and even sometimes very aggressive and um, sometimes I just feel like not in control of my emotions and that is definitely like the type of day that I'm having so I did make plans to go and meet a friend over at Sephora in about an hour from now because that's something that I know is definitely gonna make me feel better. And I was getting ready and I was like, you know what? I think that something that would really put me in a good mood is to open up the first batch of letters that came in my P.O. box. Now, I think that I announced it about two weeks ago to you guys that I went ahead and opened up a P.O. box because a lot of you guys have been requesting that so, so much and I've always been a little bit on the nervous side just because I think many YouTubers, this is just a little bit of behind the scenes. Definitely, I'm not the only YouTuber that has this problem, but I do get a lot of threats. Um, kind of, well, back in the day, I used to get a lot of threats to be jumped. But just um, harmful, mean things that people tell me that they want to do to me, men and women. So I'm opening up a P.O. box and I'm kind of like in the back of my head a little bit nervous because, you know, anyone can send whatever they want to it. So it's something that I have put off for many, many, I, w I almost want to say years, but I'm just going to say months so that I don't sound too crazy. I've been putting it off for many, many months. But yeah, I finally did it and I am so happy that I did. And I did go ahead and pick up my first batch of letters from you guys, which I'm not gonna lie I was so happy to see that there was actually letters in there because I thought that it was gonna be absolutely empty because that's just I don't know I'm like a loser so yeah okay so hence the very casual background Rocco is right here right sweetheart and this is my bed and normally I would like go ahead and like throw all my fancy pillows and put my little twinkle lights up there and like make the background look really nice since I'm filming but you know what I want these videos to be and my nose is running that's 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 very casual Let's just fix that. As I was saying, I want these P.O. Box unboxing videos to be very, very casual. So I think I'm probably going to film all of them in front of my bed. Maybe I'll make a cup of tea. And I just want it to really feel like you guys are here sitting in my room with me chatting. And I did ask you guys to go ahead and write on the uh, envelope if you, it was okay for me to open it on air. And I believe that all of these do say that it is okay, or at least none of them say do not open on air. Okay, I feel like I am all over the place here. Before I get started, I do wanna let you guys know that I am testing out a new foundation. This is actually the L'Oreal BB Cushion. This is in the shade 5.5. I really think that I should have picked up the two or the three because it's pretty dark for me, hence why I have a turtleneck on because I'm trying to camouflage that, I hope. I hope it's working. And if I like the way that it works for me and it does not break me out, I will absolutely have a review, demo, tutorial, all that stuff on it. So let's get started. I have seen a lot of P.O. Box unboxing videos and sometimes they tend to be on the very, very long side and kind of a little bit boring, loses the viewer's attention. So what I wanted to do, especially for this very first one, was just grab the first five things that came in. Huge shout out to the people that have sent in this mail today because this seriously was like people that went out the very same day that I announced it and shipped something to me. These are the first five things that came in. I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with too many things, so I just picked, well, I cannot count at all, one, two, three, four, five letters and then one box. So these are the very, very first things that came in and hopefully you guys like the idea of this so we can continue to do this on a monthly basis. So um, I'm gonna open up the box first because I think that's what you guys wanna see and I wanna see it too. Okay, so this viewer did DM me when she got Got the box ready. I think she actually had the box ready before I even had a P.O. box. She filled it up like the day that I announced it and then she shipped it off right away. So her name is Isabel and it says Latina Beauty Culture. So I'm guessing that she has a YouTube channel as well. And she is from Harbor City, California. Oh my God. Okay, so this is really heavy and I have scissors here. Let's open it up. Ooh. Ugh. Oh Lord, this is work. Oh, okay. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so here is what it looks like in the box. It is absolutely packed and like I said, this is really heavy. So I see a little note right on top and I'm going to read it to all of you guys. 
So, oh my god, like this is very like surreal that this is happening for me right now. I never thought that I would be opening up a P.O. box and like to actually have something in my hands from my viewers, like th this whole idea, I'm so excited about it. So here we go. Hello Lee, my name is Isabel. And then it says in parentheses, Isabel underscore V on Instagram. I was already putting stuff aside for you, so that is where all this stuff came from. By the way, you have like amazing handwriting, it's on point. I have been using more Japanese products lately and oh my, so much better quality and affordable. I hope that you try them out as they are amazing. Enjoy. I have been following you since your first videos, yet rarely commented. We didn't have the internet on phones yet. Watching all your vlogs inspired me to keep my channel and make it a hobby. I do cooking and beauty and other random videos. Why is my voice so shaky right now? Literally, this isn't this is insane. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me get it together. Hold on. Inner Zen. Inner Zen. I love your channel and I see you are a very genuine person. Thank you for always being honest and real. It's appreciated by us. We love you. Excuse my chicken scratch paper. You are so adorable. I think she wrote it on the back of like her planner paper, which is totally something that I would do too. Then there's a second page and she says, so I'm the one who sent you a message on Instagram about my lung mass and I totally feel I understand or I've understood how life can change in a second. I'm glad you're okay and caught it in time. God is good. Congrats on your amazing relationship. You so deserve it all and Mike too. I can relate to your feelings. I will soon write you a letter to tell you more about me. Enjoy the goodies. You can count on me if you need someone to talk to. Here is my number. Sincerely, Isabel. You are amazing. This alone has made my day and the fact that you took the time out of your day and your busy life to like send me a package on top of it is just it blows my mind. I always say that I have the most amazing subscribers ever and a little like insight on me. I don't have a lot of like friends in real life. Um, I keep my circle very, very small and I just don't have a lot of girls that I talk to on a regular basis, but I never ever feel alone because of you guys, but that's a whole nother video. So first she has this little, oh my God, this is so cute. It's this little makeup pouch and it says, I believe in red lipstick. Yes, girl, yes. And then in here, no, you did not. Did you send me food? Day is made. I wish I could start my day like this every single day. So she sent me Pocky, which I've never had before. It says Pocky Almond Crush. I'm going to save this for when the camera is off because I am not the prettiest eater. Just keeping it real. Oh my God, shut up. Candy, okay, so this is in, in Japanese, yes, because it says products of Japan, so it says assorted gummy candy, and then she also sent this hard candy. I love you, can we be best friends forever? Then she sent me a gummy melon candy. I love weird candies, and I also love really, really sour things. This is so awesome, and then she sent me like a bunch of Japanese type of products. So this one right here, it looks like another candy. It says strawberry jelly, chocolate, white cookies. I think this is just a bunch of different types of Japanese chocolates. That is so cool. And then let me just get all the candy out of the way. Oh my God, you guys are freaking amazing. This is Haichu. I have tried this here in New York. Love it. It's kind of like Starburst, but a little bit more firm. And this is in mango, banana, and melon. And then these little things that says sugar candy. Oh my God, so freaking cute, I love it. Then she sent, um, what is this? It says it's a facial cleansing oil. Oh, I guess it's like, I don't know if it's an oil to remove your makeup or to actually wash your face, so let me know about that. And then this is a moisture veil and it says it's an all-in-one gel. That is so cool. Face wipes and a lip scrub. More candy, yes, bubble gum, and these look like little M&M's or Skittle type guys, I don't know. Definitely will try them. Okay, so this one here says face mask sheets. So, okay, this is the kind that you actually make your own sheet mask. You add whatever serum and water. I definitely have to read up on that. And this looks like Pop Rocks or something in cola flavor. Oh my God, I am gonna have so much fun. Okay, this says makeup cleansing oil and then it comes with like a little razor thing attached to it or yeah this is definitely a razor hold on though i don't know if this was meant to go with this or if this is just like a little razor for shaving your face because i am big on shaving my face 
definitely let me know. I don't think this goes together. I think it literally just like stuck onto the sticker or maybe I'm wrong. That's so cool. This looks like one of those little facial massage tools because I don't think that you would be sending me something dirty, right? Nah. Whoa, hold on. What is that? Whoa, hold on. What is that? What that do? What that mouth do? Okay. The back of that just looks really funny. <laughs> if you turn it over to the front, it says that it's a face washing brush. So it's like a little silicone thing, but that, that didn't look right. And lastly, she included a bunch of facial sheet masks. Isabel, I have to say, Thank you so, so much. I literally think that you are the first person. This was the very first thing that was in my P.O. box. And I know it was something that you told me on DM or on instant message on Instagram that it was something that you were collecting and had in the corner of your room for a while. I just think that it's so amazing for you to think of me and collect these things even before I had a P.O. box. And you are just the sweetest person ever. I've seen your Instagram, you are beautiful. I'm going to put all her information down below and people like you that just have a huge heart, like you did this out of the goodness of your soul, not expecting anything back, but I will be saving all of your addresses and you might be receiving a little bit something special from me back in the mail and I also do plan on saving everything, all the postcards, the letters, everything's like falling off my bed. Um, but I do want to incorporate it somehow into a background or in my videos because I do want to collect everything because this is so, so special to me and means a lot. So. Now that this stuff, literally, guys, look. It's all over my bed. Like, look how much stuff she sent. My God, I love you. I'm going to just move this over to the side. And now we are going to move on to the rest. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. The rest of the letters. Yeah, I am definitely glad that we are only sticking with five letters for this video because I was not expecting so much stuff to be in that box and that did take a long time already. So right off the bat, this was the first postcard that did come in and I did ask you guys to send me postcards because I wanna know where my viewers are from. So this one is from Seattle and her name, hey, you did not include your name, you sneaky little girl. You put anonymous. So she just wrote, Lee, lots of love from across the country. You are amazing and keep up the great work. From anonymous, and yes, you may read and show this on air. Thank you so much. I have always wanted to go to Seattle because I am a big fan of It's Judy's Time and I know she's from Seattle, so that is so cool. Thank you so, so much. This honestly means the world to me. Okay, next you guys need to check this one out. This is from Tam and she has the most amazing handwriting ever from Texas and look at how she decorated this. Hold on. Oh my God. I freaking love that. Okay, here we go. And on the back, you guys are friggin' amazing. On the back she wrote, smile before opening. And this has already changed my mindset or my mind state for today. Like I just, I'm telling you guys, I was having one of those days just not in a good mood and this turned my entire day around. So this is what the card looks like here. We need to figure out the brightness on this camera. Um, but anyway, it has a little dog and a kitty and it says, hoping you know how much you are capable of. Not even this is a match for any for the amazing likes of you. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. So here's what she wrote on her card. Hi Lee, my name is Tam and I've been watching your YouTube videos for a very long time. Back to when you were still living with your parents. I remember that. Sounds so creepy now that I'm writing it down. It doesn't at, at all. It really, seriously seems like forever ago, but I think it was about five, five years ago when I started filming. Um, so she says, anyways, I've seen the way that you act and carry yourself and I always thought you seemed like such a nice person and this last year whenever I saw people writing awful things in the comment section, I would always get so mad and want to say something to defend you but I know you can handle yourself and I didn't want to be one of those people who argue in YouTube comments. Laugh out loud. Anyways, I'm sorry to hear you are feeling so stressed out and overwhelmed lately so I thought I would send some positive vibes your way. Um, to hopefully make you feel better. Also, I'm very glad that the hospital test for cancer came back negative. My aunt just had the exact same thing happen to her recently and it also came back negative and I know how heart-wrenching that can be. Wishing you all the best. Love, Tam. Thank you so much. Um, I definitely like to say that when those people write mean and nasty comments, uh, definitely don't go back and forth defending me. I feel that a lot of them just 
are seeking attention and whenever people ask me how do I deal with the negativity on YouTube, I simply tell them I choose not to. I don't deal with it, I don't face it, I don't confront people, I don't go back and forth. Um, I feel like anyone's nasty comments or whatever judgment that they want to say about me says more about the person who actually wrote the comment than anything that they could ever say or write about me. So it really at the end of the day does not bother me. How can I focus on that negativity when I have amazing people and viewers like this from all over the world? So thank you Tam so much. I will save this forever and ever. I love you. Mwah. Next one right here is from Ashley and she is from Florida. I actually went to Florida once. Went to Disney World when I was a little girl with my mom, my dad, and my sister. I've never been back, but I am dying to. I wanna go to Miami, let's keep it real. This makes me so happy. She wrote a lot. I like this, I like this. So she says, Lee, hey girl, hey. First off, let me start off by saying you are an inspiration, girl. I feel like I know you personally and not just through the internet. All that you have been through keeps me motivated to keep going with everything I desire in life. A little bit about myself. My name is Ashley Alvarez, I'm 25. I was born and raised in the Bronx. Holla. But now I live in Central Florida. Okay, so long story short, my dad was locked up in jail for 15 years. Those 15 years for me had to be the most devastating thing in my life. I would cry in the middle of the night because I missed him, and yes, I would see him, but maybe once a year, and he was in Massachusetts. All right, well obviously I stayed with my mom, and at the age eight, she met this so I am just going to leave out a little bit of the profanity just because you know I don't want to offend anyone. Um, but she says, all right, well I obviously stayed with my mom and when I was the age eight, she met this biker dude. After a few years, we moved to upstate New York. So again, long story short, this guy totally brainwashed my mother and she became that woman who picked a guy over their own child. And this is why I love the relationship that you have with your mother. Because now I cannot feel that bond with mine but me and my dad have the greatest relationship you could ever think of. Mind you, yes, he still lives in the Bronx too, so I visit New York and I would love to meet you. He is planning on moving to Tampa, Florida in two years. I lived in Puerto Rico on and off my whole life as well with my abuela, so there I met, so there I met my boyfriend of five years who is also the father of my six-month-old son, Jacob. I am a licensed cosmetologist and currently a stay-at-home mom and full-time student for the early childhood education. I do have a YouTube channel and would love it if you would check it out. Since I already have that drive, the passion, the experience, and education, I decided to put what I love to do on the web. I am so happy that you found Mike and I'm sure that had to be an amazing blessing. I have been following you for a while and I notice how happy you are. I'm so happy that you do not have cancer you are truly blessed Lee. I hope you write back and we can continue to talk about life. We can become pen pals and maybe even YouTube friends. Say hi to Mike and Mel. Love you all and God bless. Oh and hey Rocco. I don't know if this is how you spell his name but yes you did. Then she just gave me permission to read her letter online and she provided me with her Instagram and her YouTube and I am going to provide everyone that wrote me in or sent me anything in all of their information down below if that is something that they included. And she said, sorry if my writing is hard to read, I can type it next time. Your handwriting is absolutely amazing. Hold up, hold up. Like, come on, son. Stop playing. <laughs> wow, very, very inspirational story. I am so sorry to hear about your relationship with your mother not being that good, um, but I am definitely happy to hear that your relationship with your father is good. Um, I always feel like there's so much that I wanna share with you guys like about my personal family and family members, but I do have to respect the privacy of other people in my family, but I definitely do know where you're coming from. My relationship with my mother is amazing and I absolutely never take her for granted, but I know that she's a blessing and that a lot of people don't have that type of relationship with their mother. Um, but I absolutely tell you not to lose faith just because you are going through a rocky moment or maybe a couple of rocky years there absolutely is hope that down the line you guys will be able to rekindle your relationship and I am again very glad to hear that you have a great relationship with your father because that is absolutely very important as well as far as your YouTube channel I do have a full video because you guys know that I love 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 to talk like I am the perfect example of somebody that should have a YouTube channel because I can sit in my room and talk for hours 
whether there is a camera filming me or not. Now that I say that, definitely sounds weird. Um, but my whole <laughs> my whole point of that is to let you know that I do have a video on how to have a successful YouTube channel that I filmed over the summertime, and that's like a half an hour long video. So I want to post that down below in case you want any tips on how to grow your channel or how to make the the most of it, basically. So thank you so much for writing me. It means the world to me. I love you, love you, love you. So the next card that we are going to open up right here is from Wendy in Los Angeles, California. I've been to LA and she says on the back, PS, you can read. She put like a really cute Hello Kitty sticker and then a little ice cream cone sticker on the back. Um, but I was saying I have been to LA for work with Neutrogena. Um, and when I went, it was like very, it was a really quick trip. I had noticed like two days before and I had to pack and be out. And they gave us like an itinerary, uh, not an itinerary, cause that's for the plane, but they gave us like a schedule for the entire time that we were there. So I literally had like maybe two hours to myself during the two or three day trip. So I really didn't get to explore. I met up with uh, Lizzie from What Would Lizzie Do? and my friend Cindy, uh, which is Guatemalan Hot Mama here on YouTube. But I didn't have a lot of time with them. We just went for dinner and I didn't really get to explore LA. So I would love, absolutely love to go back. So here on her card, it has a little raccoon and a fox. I think it's a fox. And she sent me a picture. I asked you guys to send me pictures of what you look like in your families because this is just an amazing way for me to be able to connect with you guys. So I will be showing you guys a close up. Actually, I hope that you could see right there. Look at that, such a cute little family. And she says, Dear Lee, thank you for all the inspiration you render on your channel. I wish I was half as brave as you. I love watching you as you are just so real. I feel like I can, con I can truly connect with you. You and Michael are the cutest. I'm sad he won't be a part of your vlogs, but priorities come first. Here I have included a picture of my small family. My daughter, Alexia, is the best thing that has ever happened to me. She is now two years old. In the picture, she was eight months old. I don't do this writing to YouTubers or to anyone, but I felt the need to reach out to you. I'd like to hear back from you. I'm also very happy that your results were good news. I worry about my mom and I as both of my grandmothers had breast cancer. Be positive is the best thing to do. Is there anything, an in parentheses goal, you wish you had the motivation to accomplish? How often do you shop for makeup? By the way, makeup is the best invention yet. Laugh out loud. Best regards, your friend, Wendy. P.S. Happy Valentine's Day. And she put her Instagram as well. Um, Wendy, again, you have the most adorable little family. And to answer your question, um, what was it again? Is there any goal that I wish that I had the motivation to accomplish? I have to say that I am very, very proud of myself. I feel like any goals that I have set for myself, I pretty much accomplished. But with that being said, I think everybody's goal at the end of the day is just to be happy. And um, for me, sometimes you guys know my little mental health issues. Um, sometimes I feel like I sense a little bit of depression when I have absolutely no need or, or no right to feel depressed about anything because my life is nothing short of amazing. So I really just want to be able to connect my mental thoughts with my reality of everything that I have going on around me. And again, I think my personal goal is just to be happy. Um, and I feel like I'm definitely going in a really good direction. How often do I shop for makeup? Quite often, if I feel like I need a little bit of a pick-me-up, I will just go to Target or a drugstore or Sephora like I have planned today, which honestly, this video is going a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be, so I probably am going to be late meeting my friend, but I do shop for makeup pretty often. Sometimes I have designated trips to just makeup shop, but if I'm going like food shopping, I'm not gonna lie, there's a makeup aisle because some supermarkets have makeup aisles like I'm, I'm gonna see what's good. And Wendy, I absolutely agree with your point of Staying positive. I'm so sorry to hear that both of your grandmothers had breast cancer. My grandmother passed away from um, cancer as well. Not breast cancer, but another type of cancer. And I absolutely know how extremely devastating that can be. I agree with you when you say staying positive and keeping a good mindset or mind state, state of mind, mindset, you know what I'm saying, is absolutely the best thing that you can do. So thank you so much for your card. I love it. And again, everyone's information is going to be down below. And 
I am going to now open up the very last card. Let me know if you guys uh, want me to kind of shrink it down and not open up so many cards. Maybe I can do three per video, or if you like these really long videos, maybe you're getting ready for work. You guys know that I have been uploading at 8 a.m., and a lot of you guys really like that. Don't, don't get twisted, like I'm still sleeping at 8 a.m., but I do set the videos to go live because I know a lot of you guys are getting ready for work and school. So, all right, the last one is also from California, Pasadena, California, and her name is Claudia. So let's see what Claudia sent over. And I already see that there are some pictures. I'm going to open up like a little folder or a box right now because I do want to keep all of this. And I see that she sent a picture of her and her man. Adorable. And she sent pictures of her babies, her puppies. Oh my God, I am such a big dog person. I don't know what kind of doggies these are, but they're freaking adorable. One looks like a Chihuahua, and one looks like a little black lab. Oh my God, Rocco, Rock, look baby. Look at these dogs. He's like, yeah, I'm taking a nap. On the back she wrote Marley and Brownie and my babies. My doggies are my babies too. Totally feel you on that. Dear Lee, hello there, how are you doing? I'm blessed and happy you finally got your PO box. Yay! I love your videos and I love your personality. I find you to be a very unique person. I would like to tell you a little bit about me and my story. My name is Denise. I'm 28 years old and originally from Montclair, California. I currently reside in Pasadena, California with my husband. We've been married since 2008 and we have no children yet. We are dog doggy parents though. We own two dogs. Marley is a dash hound mix and brownie is a chihuahua they are my love bugs and I love them to death just like you love Rocco and Nana I grew up in a dysfunctional family my dad was an alcoholic and my mom was so busy dealing with his bullcrap we were put aside because of that my eldest brother and I were physically abused and mentally as well my but my brother grew up to be a gang member and last year he was caught carrying a gun and was put in jail for about four months when he was released he was deported to Mexico so far, 2015 has been by far the hardest year ever. You have inspired me to write a letter to my 2015. And you know what, Lee, I cannot tell you how much weight has been lifted off my shoulders. All these years, I carried an unnecessary load. My childhood wasn't the best, but I don't like to victimize or feel sorry for myself. God continues to be good. Anyways, I'm grateful for people like you who bring a ray of happiness to those who need it. I say it because I laugh so hard when I watch your vlog channel. Your family is awesome and very united. I pray that one day my family will come together again. My family is teared apart thanks to my dad and a relative. Hopefully, hopefully we can one day be a family again. Lee, you are blessed to have a beautiful family and happy you have found a wonderful man that makes you happy. I know he does, I can see it in your eyes and I can see it in his as well. Thank you so much for your time and God bless you. This year will bring you many blessings and you and, and your family. Love you and keep up the good work. Lots of love, Claudia. Um, you guys are so amazing. Hearing your stories just really helps me to connect. I mean, I know that you guys are all individuals and that we all have our own lives and issues and things going on. And if anything, this seriously just reminds me um, because before I used to have issues with anxiety and um, stress and all of that, I would always try to have the mentality that even if somebody outside is rude to you, I'm talking about real life because in YouTube it's a given, but even if like say a cashier or a retail worker or a waitress or somebody blows you off or is rude to you, I try to never give attitude back just because you never know somebody's story. Like you, everyone is dealing with something. Everyone has something going on and your story just helps to bring me down to earth and um, helps me realize that I'm not the only one that goes through issues and I am so so sorry that your family has gone through these issues but again do not lose hope I feel for you a hundred percent because I know that when I have family drama it's the worst thing in the world to me when my friends argue whatever um, when I have issues with work or financially it's whatever but when my family argues and my family has issues and drama and stress um, it's like the worst thing in the world to me. It, it carries in over to my everyday life, it carries into my relationship, it carries into my work, it carries into my personality. So I know what you mean when you say that that's like a weight that you carry 
on your back, like you can physically feel it. Um, but I am really happy that you decided to write a letter to 2015, just like I did for the past two years. It's so amazing. Like it just really helps, like you said, lift that load and give you kind of like a fresh brand new start. Even if you don't read it on tape or on, on film, if you don't film it and watch it, um, even if you just write it and keep it in a notebook and revisit it maybe later on in the year, it really, it's a very powerful thing. Um, but Claudia, it's so amazing that even with you going through the, the tough issues that you are handling at the moment that again, out of the goodness of your heart, something told you to reach out to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Every single one of your letters has had a huge impact on me and um, like you guys literally turned my day around. So I am really sorry that this video ended up being a really, really long one. Now I guess I see why the PO unboxing videos are so long. Um, if you guys have any suggestions because I am always open to um, co constructive constructive criticism as long as it's coming from a place where you're not bashing let me know if you guys want me to handle these videos differently I am uploading this one here on my main channel because my vlog channel um, I don't have as many viewers over on there so I wanted to you know have this so that all of you guys could see it uh, but if you guys want me to kind of open up less letters or I don't know. I don't know what the advice is from you guys. You guys are the ones watching, so I want to come out with what you guys want to see. And if you don't like the idea of the series and you want me to keep this private, that's fine too. So definitely please give me your feedback. I do want to do this at least once a month. So please go ahead and send me a letter, whether it's giving me your story, letting me know about you, sending me pictures, a postcard, asking for advice, giving me advice, whatever it is. I just want to hear from you guys because it really helps to connect me with my viewers and I absolutely do plan on doing another meetup um, this summer because my last meetup was about three years back and it was really really big so I am so excited to do another one in New York this summer so let me know if that's something that you'll you will attend send me a picture I want to have a relationship with you guys even before getting to meet you face to face so um, I'm gonna go get ready for my Sephora trip and <laughs> I love you guys all so, so much. I, I cannot express how amazing my viewers are. You guys tell me that I inspire you, but seriously, like you people <laughs> make me the way that I am because I just see the goodness and like pureness, purity, <laughs> and again, just like the goodness out of people's heart every single day. And that's something that not a lot of people are blessed enough to see. And I get to see it on an every single day basis. So thank you guys all so much for lifting me up. Thank you for taking the time to write to me, to send me these things. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you all soon. Mwah.